Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Last week didn't go exactly to plan for some clubs, same as every week in the Premier League. And um, VAR made the headlines again with the Everton game. There's a lot to talk about, um, so let's get down to it. Guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch link for my merch down in the description below. So go feel free to check it out after watching this video. Um, but yeah, as I've said, a lot to talk about, so as I said, I'm going to get straight down to it. So guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Liverpool versus Bournemouth. Liverpool are top of the table, obviously as we all know, but that lose to Watford in their last game, which was a 3-0 defeat to Watford. Um, it really does leave Liverpool in a bit of a predicament. They've lost to Chelsea as well in the FA Cup. This is the only bit of silverware that Liverpool can really go for, I think. I think the Champions League, they might have had it as well after losing to Atletico Madrid in the first leg. So as I said, I think this is the only uh, cu uh, cup or, you know, whatever you want to call it, for that Liverpool to go for. And it does most certainly look theirs, but it's not theirs yet. Um, there's still time for Man City to come back, but, you know, it's nearly impossible. But you never know in football. Um, Bournemouth, on the other hand, you know, enjoyed 2-2. At, um, at home to Chelsea. Bournemouth are currently sitting in the relegation zone, but I think they've got to find their way out. Um, I really do. Uh, I think, you know, even though Bournemouth were lucky to get a draw, um, I've looked at the stacks and everything since then. I think overall Chelsea were lucky to, to get the draw. Possibly Bournemouth deserved the three points over the 90 minutes, um, but it didn't quite happen. Um, Liverpool's form table got 12 points out of the last five games. Um, you know, winning four and losing one. Bournemouth is a little bit different. They've got seven points out of the last five games. Draw, uh, winning one, oh, sorry, winning two, drawing one, losing two. So, you know, it's a bit different going into this um, game for Bournemouth. I think pretty much the odds would be stacked against them over the 90 minutes. I think Liverpool want to go get back on winning ways, but do a, do a predict to do so um, over the, you know, the 90 minutes. Um, with the likes of, you know, that did predict what, Watford to win last week against uh, Liverpool, and it did come in. I went, think I went for a 2-1, obviously it finished up 3-0, but, you know, there's still a lot to be had about there. Um, but I'm going to predict Liverpool to get back on winning ways, and I'm going to predict a 2-0 Liverpool win. The next game up is Arsenal versus West Ham. Arsenal's last Premier League game was a 3-2 win over Everton. Probably, you know, big three points for Arsenal. Everton in that game weren't too bad overall. Um, with the likes of, you know, how well Everton played. Uh you know, Everton have played another league game since then, but obviously Arsenal had a week off. Um, I, I don't know who I was supposed to be playing, but, you know, they did have a week off over, you know, the weekend. Um, but that 3 to win over at Everton, they're going up against an OK West Ham side. Um, you know, West Ham's last game was a 3-1 win over Southampton, a big three points for the Hammers there. Going over, you know, just how um, West Ham won that game. Sees them outside the relegation zone. Um, Arsenal's form table's nine points out of the last five matches. West Ham's form 
just lost four points out of the last five matches, so a really big um, bit of gap there for, for West Ham to start filling up on. Um, West Ham are only outside on the relegation zone as well by goal difference. You know, overall with the um, lots of goal difference, um, do I think West Ham will stay up? Gonna have to wait and see. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm gonna go for an Arsenal win, and I'm gonna go for a comfortable three-one Arsenal win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Watford. Crystal Palace's last game was a win over Brighton. Uh, Palace won by one goal. Mate, uh, call of the goal, as you will. Um, I think overall, Palace might have just been lucky to stroke the three points, but I did watch the game and I thought, you know, it's one of them games where Palace go nick it. Um, on the Watford perspective, that win over Liverpool by three goals to nil, and great three points for Watford. Do I think Watford will survive? I think they will. I think they got one of the best managers to keep them up in the league. But then you've also got to think about, you know, the games they got coming up. Watford beating at uh, beating Liverpool. I think that's a big statement for um, Watford as well. Um, the current state is that Crystal Palace are nine points outside the relegation zone, and I think they're safe now. Uh, Watford only got four points out of their last five matches. Possibly a bit more work for Watford to do. Um, but as far as this one goes, because of that uh, Watford win, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Watford win. Sorry, about 3-0 um, Watford win over Liverpool. Um, my next one is Sheffield United versus Norwich. Um, Sheffield United's last year game was a one all draw against Brighton. Sheffield United were another team that had the day off or weekend off. Obviously, it's supposed to be playing one of the clubs that went to Wembley. Um, from a Sheffield United perspective, if you're a Sheffield United fan, how do you think you're going to finish the season? Um, I really am interested to know that. Norwich, on the other hand, you know, beating less than one by one goal. Uh, one goal to nil to Norwich. Six points off of safety. We're going to, you know, Norwich going to have to really start try and pick up points if they want to get outside that uh, relegation zone. Sheffield United are five points off the top four. So Sheffield United have not got a big gap towards the top four either. You know, with the likes of Manchester City, stuff like that, this could really be an interesting game going forward with the likes of, you know, what both clubs did. And... Um, you know, Norwich winning, but I'm going to predict Sheffield United to get back on winning ways this weekend, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Sheffield United win. My next one is Southampton versus Newcastle. Southampton's last game was a 3 1 defeat away to West Ham. I looked at that game, and I'm trying to scratch my head a bit because of how well Southampton have been doing over the past few weeks or you know past couple of months it gets me to the point where you know it proves that this league is so unpredictable but you know that's a big shock for Southampton in my opinion um Newcastle's last game was a nil nil draw um to Burnley you know Newcastle have not won in the last five games Give Newcastle just three points out of their last five games. This game could be crucial for Newcastle season overall. But do I think it's going to end up that way? We'll find out in just a minute. Um, Southampton got six points out of their last five league matches. See, Southampton are one of them 
teams, I think, that will survive in the Premier League. I've got no doubt about that. But I think Newcastle have done it as well. I think the safety point is maybe only 30 points. I know that's tight for some clubs. But with 10 games left, not a lot of football to remain. I just think that's what you need for 30, maybe 35. But, you know, we've got to wait and see, see what the safety point gap is. As far as this game goes, I'm going to predict a draw because of the Southampton defeat up at West Ham and the Newcastle winless run. And I'm going to predict a one-all scoreline for that one. My next up is Wolves versus Brighton. Wolves, you know, last game was a 3-2 win over Tottenham after coming back from two goals down. Um, fair play to Wolves for doing that. But, um, you know, doing that, it shows passion, it shows fight. Wolves have got eight points out of their last five games as well. So, you know, quite a lot of points from five games. Wolves are one of them teams that I think are really underestimated at the start of the season. Obviously, come back at the end of the season to see how my prediction Premier League table finished up. Um... But Brighton, on the other hand, only got three points from their last five games. And their last result was a 1-0 defeat at home to Palace. Um, Wolves are a really big team, I think, since coming up to the Premier League. I'm going to predict a Wolves win, and I'm going to predict a 3-0 Wolves win. My next one is Top Burnley versus Tottenham. Burnley, last game was a draw away to Newcastle. See, Burnley drawing up at Newcastle, that's not really a big thing either. Um, you know, we know, all know how far Burnley's come and, you know, I'm in a short space of time and, you know, what Sean Dyche has done, fair play to Sean for doing his job. Um, Burnley only have 11 points out of 15 from their last five league games. So we're looking more on the draw sort of side as well. Um, while well, Tottenham, on the other hand's last result was a 3-2 defeat to Wolves. And they, after, after going two goals up for Tottenham, really a big defeat there for Tottenham. After, as I said, going two goals up, expected Tottenham to win that game. A fair play to Wolves for bringing it back. Um, Tottenham have only got nine points from their last five games. How far are Tottenham going to go this season? Um, but as far as this game goes... I'll go for a 2-1 Burnley win. My next up is Chelsea versus Everton. Um, Chelsea's last match was a draw to Bournemouth after Alonso scored in the 85th minute. That's how late Chelsea left it um, over you know the night minutes. Um, Chelsea are a team this year which Frank Lampard has had a difficult job to do. So fair play to Frank and they've got through to the next round of the DFA Cup. Um, Everton on the other hand, you know, at home Spain United, drawing 2-2. Two -two. I think it's 1-0 actually, but... Um, we've got to talk about that late VAR decision with Everton. Um, was it offside? Was he interfering with play? My argument, and it's not down to the VAR, I've said this one more than once, not the VAR's fault why it was given. My fear, my um, opinion is that, yes, he was offside, but I don't think he was interfering with play. I've seen so many situations this season in the Premier League where Goals would be given when a player's been offside in the goalkeeper's eye line. You know, I don't take a rocket science to work that one out. But to actually, you know, not give a goal like that, it makes it interesting to see what the Premier League are going to do now for the rest of the season. Um, you all know about my opinions from off the Premier League and how I use the VAR. We're using it so wrongly. Until we correct it... Um, I can see this argument continuing, but as I said, it's not down to the VAR what the decisions are given. Um, you know, 
with this game, um, Everton have just got five points from their last five games. Um, you know, as well as Chelsea. Uh, sorry, Everton have got not eight points from their last five games. Um, while Chelsea have got six out of their last five matches. I think that uh, result against Liverpool is going to be a big turnaround for Chelsea. And I'm going to predict a 3-0 Chelsea win. My next one is Manchester United versus Manchester City. A game I will be watching. Um, Man United's last year game was a draw against Everton. Um, you know, after Bruno's great goal in the 31st minute. Gives Man United the point and gives them 8 points out of their last 5 games. Well, as Manchester City's last league game was a 1-0 win over Leicester. Um, Man City have got 10 points out of their last 5 league matches. Man City seems to come alive but way too late in this season, if I'm all honest. As far as you go, as far as Man City are, you know. Um, but, you know, fair play to City. Um, Man United are really hard to predict at this present time. I'm going to go for the red side of Manchester. I don't think I've done this yet in the City derbies, but I am today. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Man United win. My last one for this weekend is Leicester versus Aston Villa. Leicester... Last game was a 1 0 defeat uh, away to Norwich. A fair play to Norwich, I'll say that again. Um, Leicester have seemed to be di gone disappearing over the past few weeks as far as the likes of titles and stuff like that goes. Um, Leicester are seven points of Manchester City as well, so you know that gap's getting bigger for Leicester. To between Leicester and Manchester City. Um, they've only got five points out of their last five league matches. Aston Villa, on the other hand's last league game was a defeat over Southampton. Aston Villa, Aston Villa have only got four points out of their last five games. I think, I'm not sure quite how to call Villa yet. I'm going to sit on that one and let you know in a couple of weeks or so. Let's just see how the results go. Leicester, on the other hand, will eventually probably start turning their form around but obviously we're going to have to wait and see to see when that is but I'm going to go for a 2-0 Leicester win but anyway guys you know what to do give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching ciao for now